up the road from Michael's house, this turf has been cut using a sausage machine and you can immediately see the damage it does. These deep trenches drain the bog. And one of the most obvious results is the brown water that we can see draining into nearby waterways. Ironically, communities living near peatlands may be contributing to poisoning their very own water supplies. All of the water that we saw draining from the bogs has entered this river and it has turned it a yellowy brown. This river flows into Loch Fia. So what are the impacts of all of this fine peat further downstream? Dr. Eleanor Jennings is working with a team assessing the impacts of carbon discharging from peatlands into rivers and lakes in the Burrshrewl catchment on Loch Fia. But you can see that the whole catchment, it's all peatland, hills and mountains around here. Yeah. And um, of course, one of the problems is going to be when you have peatland, you get brown water. And the lake is typically a brown coloured water. So this is a wonderful, beautiful lake and the, the water quality in this river catchment must be very good well, otherwise, good. wouldn't it? It is still good quality water. Yeah, but... Know? But if we're treating drinking water, we always have to disinfect it to actually put some chlorine in there so that you're breaking down any bacteria that might be a problem. But on the one hand, you're putting chlorine in, and on the other hand, you're actually going to have all this organic matter. The two of them can react together, and that can produce what we call trihalomethanes, or THMs. And then this new compound can, is possibly carcinogenic. And so uh, for that reason, there are standards that all water companies and water schemes have to meet for their THM levels. And it's something that is a, a, an ongoing concern in Ireland, particularly in areas where you have beautiful peatlands like this. And they're potentially carcinogenic. Yes, right? they are, yeah. yeah. And well, are those levels in Ireland, you know, with so much peatland in Ireland, are they high in certain areas? They're definitely high in certain areas and we still have breaches of it. So it's an ongoing challenge for people who are looking after drinking water in Ireland. But it, 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 it's, a, it's a challenge we'll have to meet. We just have to meet. Over 400,000 people in Ireland are exposed to THM levels in breach of EU regulation limits. Long-term exposure has been linked to an increased risk of cancer. However, the team here are working on something just as alarming. And would you test water now in different locations, like on this lake and up in the rivers? We're and... testing here, we're testing in all of the streams that are flowing in, because apart from just the amount of, of uh, colour that's in it, we're also interested in how much carbon is coming from all these long-term stores, ending up in the lake, washing down into the next lake and ending up as carbon dioxide and into the atmosphere. This is very serious, that there's so much carbon being emitted from damaged bogs through the water. So how much is making its way into this catchment area? OK, so we've just taken the carbon dioxide sample and we're just going to inject it into the analyzer. What's in the atmosphere, is it? Yeah. The atmosphere currently is about 410, 407, 410 at the moment. OK, and then we're going to inject in the sample that we took from the water. So currently that carbon dioxide in the water is um, 610 parts per million. So there's a difference of about 200 parts per million between the air and the water. So that would tell us that the lake is a carbon source from the water to the air. Right, yeah. because the difference is really huge. Yeah. 600 parts per million. Yeah. And that's over the whole of this lake yeah. coming and off And over that. the surface of all the water bodies in this catchment. But obviously anything that accelerates the destabilisation of our peatlands means that more is coming off the peatlands, more is coming into the lakes. The carbon cycle of the lakes has been changed. Yeah. So it's a vicious circle really, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it's quite serious. Yeah. Peatlands play a crucial role in the carbon cycle of our planet in ways that we're just beginning to understand. The building blocks of the peatlands are these sphagnum mosses. They absorb carbon from the atmosphere, which is then stored in this wetland ecosystem. In fact, all of the peat that has accumulated in our bogs is carbon that was absorbed from the atmosphere over the last 10,000 years. 
since so much of Ireland's land cover is peatlands. Assessing the amount of carbon being released from them is crucial. Work that Dr Shane Regan and his team are undertaking on Clarabog in County Offaly. Despite the fact that this is one of our best examples of a pristine bog, only 40% of it is active due to drainage issues. So why is the bog draining away like this? Well, it's quite complicated. If you look around the bog here, you don't see any drains on the surface. However, here in Clara, we do have that process occurring, but it's not due to drains on the bog. It's actually due to drainage outside of the bog. On the edges? On the edges of the bog. And, and that's what's caused that? Well, the drains would have been put in historically for, for turf cutting around the margins of the bog. And though that process has stopped, there's no longer turf cutting in this area, the drains are still having a legacy effect. This is painstaking work, and they're reaching some surprising conclusions. OK, well, in our work that we've done, we find that the amount of carbon that's lost as dissolved carbon in the water through runoff is greater than that lost as an emission to the atmosphere. Right, so that's yeah. new now. I mean, I didn't know that that could be as big as that. So the amount of dissolved carbon that's yes. flowing out of the bog through drainage yes. is actually bigger than what's going up into the atmosphere caused by the water table yes. being lowered. That is what our, our results are showing us to date. It's shocking to hear that most of our bogs are so degraded that they've now become carbon emitters instead of carbon sinks. We've lost 95% of our intact bogs in the last 60 years. Carbon emissions from extracting and burning peat from degraded and drained bogs could even be higher than our total annual transport emissions. Only half an hour away from Clara Bog is Bordnamona's Eden Dairy peat burning plant, and I'm going to find out how they fit into this picture. <laughs> 